So, what ho, good evening, so and so forth. Here I am. Good evening, ladies and uh, gerbils. Now, uh, tonight we have, for your delight and delectation, a beautiful old, I say old, about year 2000, uh, Burns Marquee. And uh, we'll have a little one sided chat about it. Um, after we've had a listen, because I'm hoping that you'd like to know what it sounds like. So, okay, let's go, chaps. Intonation test and uh, have a listen through the pickups and this one has got a little bit of a secret. So, well, I, 
I'm saying a little bit of a secret, it's not a secret at all. It's a, well, these are well known for it. If you know it, you know it. If you don't know it, you don't know it. But you can't know it unless you know it. So anyway, so, are we in tune? Remarkably, yes we are. So, intonation. <laughs> like absolute butter they are brilliant okay so we'll go through from one to five because the uh, the uh, pickups as I'm sure you can see and the uh, blade switch here is uh, very very much like a Stratocaster so we do have positions one to five obviously the three main positions and two in between ones but there's a little bit of an extra twist with these fellows. So, here we go, starting on position one. Resomatic, jangly pickups, very 60s. Position two. Too. Now, when I told you about the little trick that these have got, make mine at work, Paul, he said to me that the bottom tone knob, there are two tones and one volume, as per your Strat O caster, um, so the bottom tone knob, he says, you can pull your knob out if you wish. It's not an offer I get every day, to be fair, and uh, so pull it out, I did. And it turns out that what this is, pushed in, pulled out, and what this does is it, depending which position you are in on the uh, blade switch here, it will blend you from pickup to pickup. So I don't know the exact configuration, but let's go on number one. And so that somehow takes you, blends it between one or another, and just try number three. So, yeah, that, so that sweeps across the pickups. It doesn't do it in the, in the um, uh, home cancelling positions. Clever stuff, but uh, you know what I'm like. I just tend to pick the loudest pickup and um, turn everything flat out. So okay, so that's that. Now there are some inter other interesting features about this, which I would like to tell you. Let's go first of all to the vibrato system. As you can see, that is set beautifully. Now, it looks, does it not, like uh, just a regular strap tram. But if you'll notice, there's nothing apparent holding it here or across it. There's no six screws or even the uh, two-point uh, screws. Nothing there at all. What it's got inside of here is two fulcrums. Um, and so it's those two that sit it in position and then it's uh, tensioned by the springs at the back underneath the uh, underneath the plate there okay now in my opinion this oh it's called the point classic I don't know if you can see that 
Uh, but anyway, uh, in my opinion, that it gives it an almost uh, Bigsby alike. It's somewhere between a Bigsby and a strap kind of trim. So, and it's kind of floating, if you see what I mean. Um, so, what else do we have? Well, this one is in Shadows White. I think they only came in three colours. Shadows White, Shadows Black and Shadows something else. Um, and this one is in white with gold hardware, which for, a, I think it's a year 2000 or something like that. And really, it's certainly either stood the test of time or hardly being played, which I rather suspected a little bit of both, to be fair. Uh, so you have this gold hardware, you've got, are they? Yeah. Uh, the seal tuners are actually stamped uh, with burns, which is rather nice. Uh, they are, I believe, 18 to 1 ratio. And look at this little chap here. We don't see those hardly ever at all these days. It has a zero fret. How lovely. I'm not sure what use they are, but what a nice thing. It just looks fabulous. So, uh, the Resomatic uh, pickups, lovely and bright and crunchy, very, very 60s -y. And um, I think that these make a really cool alternative to a Strat because although they are Strat alike and do, they have similar tendencies and properties, um, it's a, it gets you out of the crowd, gets you away from the herd and uh, whilst still sounding, you know, ha having those similar tonal qualities. Uh, so, th th and I love that, I love the scrolled headstock there. That's a, that really is a thing of beauty. And, the, you know, and there is, the, there's not so many of them around. Um, if you're looking for one of these, you're always gonna check for the usual things, splits or cracks or, and it, you know, a bit of paint defect, a little, Bit of a hairline whatever is not an issue but you don't want to see an open wound you know what i mean uh, now advice if you have a look at this the neck is uh, it's absolutely perfect in every way the frets are smooth and shiny the neck is in great condition the, the fretboard is in great condition as is the neck and i've checked it for straightness and it is ex perfectly within all of the uh, defined tolerances that one would like to see. Now, here is my advice for you. If you've got one of these, or you get one of these, if the neck does not require any work, only change one string at a time. Because although, they're, I mean, they are infinitely set up -able, just like a just like a Strat, but balancing this bloody thing if you take all the strings off, trust me, I know, balancing this thing after you've had all the strings off is an absolute chore. It, I, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not difficult, but it's very, very time consuming to get it right. So if you've got one of these or you're thinking about getting one of these and you want to change your strings and, you know, you need to change strings frequently, uh, certain, not like every week or something like that, but if you don't change your strings, they will lose their ding. So if you are changing strings on one of these, then do them one at a time. And that, I believe, is uh, pretty much everything covered. These, um, these are made in Korea. I don't know which factory, but I'm guessing it's probably the Unsung factory where they make the uh, Epiphones and what not. So there you go. Beautiful, beautiful guitars. A fabulous, fabulous practical alternative to a Strat and it will stand you out from the crowd. Uh, they're great, absolutely brilliant, brilliant guitars to play. And they've got that just that extra little crunch there with them. So, uh, yeah, get yourself a Burns. That's my advice to you. Adios, amigos. Terra.
Hmm, let's see what's here somewhere.